I dropped by and left Ava on your porch. You'll take care of her, right? What? I'm going to Hawaii with my boyfriend! Huh? What are you talking about? You're leaving her with us? Oh, come on! Don't act like it's a big deal! It's not as if you've got anything going on anyway. You don't have a boyfriend or get out or anything. You've got time. You can't just expect someone to take care of your kid on a whim like that. You're Ava's mother. She should be your top priority. I'm working hard as a single mother taking care of Ava every single day. I deserve a break every now and then, don't you think? Some rest and relaxation? There's nothing wrong with taking some time for myself and going on a little trip. Getting some rest is all well and good, and I'd be happy to help you out. But why didn't you at least ask me and mom about this in advance? You can't just abandon your kid on our porch like that. Imagine if neither of us were home. But what if you said you had plans or that you were busy? Then I couldn't go on my trip. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. <laughs> uh, you've always been like that ever since we were kids. Living as if the world revolves around you without a care for anyone else. Causing problems for everyone you know. But we're family. We take care of each other, right? You're such a stick in the mud. It's no wonder you haven't managed to get married. <laughs> this has nothing to do with my marital status. By the way, Mom just went to the front door and brought Ava inside. I can't believe you actually left her like that. Ava is already five, so she can take care of herself. All you've got to do is put her in front of the TV and she'll be fine. At least tell us what hotel you're staying at in case anything happens. Also, I'll have you know that Ava was crying at the front door when Mom found her just now. Oh, whoops. I forgot to mention the hotel. <laughs> Come back right this instant. Mom is really upset with you. Do you think I want to come back if Mom is angry? <laughs> no thanks. She only gets mad at me anyway. Even when I say I was just kidding. The way you act would make anyone upset. You're a nuisance. I don't want to hear any judgment from someone living at home with no kids. You wouldn't understand how much stress I have in my life. Having a child was your choice. And your ex-husband divorced you because you cheated on him, didn't he? That was effectively your choice, too. Not this again. Ugh. Talking to you and mom is exhausting. I can't handle it. I need to be on a beach chair in Hawaii right now so I can let some of the stress out. How are you even able to afford a trip to Hawaii anyway? Aren't you always begging us for cash? It's not my money. My boyfriend is paying for everything. Apparently, he happened to get some extra money on the side. All right. And why can't you bring Ava with you? He doesn't sound like a great guy if he just expects you to leave her behind. Do you honestly think a couple can have a good time with a little brat around? Oh my gosh. You're just impossible. I'll be back in about three days. So take good care of Ava for me. Oh, and I forgot to pack clothes for her. So can you buy her some while you're at it? You forgot. That sounds pretty on purpose to me. I don't know what to do with you. My name is Olivia. I'm a 30-year-old single woman. I'm currently living at home with my mother. About my sister, Natalie. Maybe it's because she's the youngest child. Ever since we were kids, she has been extremely self-centered. She didn't even feel the need to let us know when she was getting married, when she got pregnant, or when she got divorced. Instead, we'd always find out after the fact when she came to us begging for help. Her daughter, Ava, is a sweet girl, so Mom and I really don't mind taking care of her. But since we both work during the day, it's not like we're home all the time. I guess I'll have to take a couple of sick days. As soon as Ava entered the house, we noticed that she smelled awful. So we went ahead and got a bath ready for her. It was such a normal thing to do, but as a result, we uncovered something shocking. Oh gosh! <laughs> Turns out I spent way too much money. Whoopsie. Can you send me some cash real quick? Thanks. Are you serious? Oh, come on. Just a little. If you don't, I won't give you your souvenir. That's fine with me. I don't need a souvenir. Pretty, pretty, please. Just $500. I said no. Oh, all right. Well, if you're going to be like that, I guess they don't have any choice. What do you mean? You must be rolling in dough, right? Living at home, working a desk job, no kids, no responsibilities. I hear you can even buy a nice car. 
Huh? A car? I know all about it. Last weekend, you bought a brand new Audi, didn't you? Why do you know about that? <laughs> Don't underestimate me. I have my ways. So what? Are you going to come all the way from Hawaii just to slash my tires or something? Oh, it wouldn't be me doing the slashing. Um, what? I've got someone out in the driveway with your shiny silver Audi right now. It's this year's model, right? They just sent me a picture. Looks great. Thanks for deciding to go with mom to run errands, leaving your car completely unattended. There's no way. You're lying, aren't you? So should they slash the tires, scratch up the paint job, or smash the windows? Since it's your fancy new car, I'll let you choose. What? No! I won't choose any of those! I bet repairs for a nice car like this would probably be at least a couple thousand dollars. Compared to that, $500 sure looks cheap, doesn't it? You're the worst. How can you threaten your family like this? Family? Give me a break. <laughs> Always nagging me, looking down on me, never sparing me even a cent when I need it most. Nobody with that kind of attitude is my family. It's precisely because we're family that I try to help you act right. If I didn't care about you, then I wouldn't bother to say anything. Although, actually, even if we weren't around, I guarantee that someone else in your life would be pointing out your mistakes just the same. You can't just behave like this and not expect there to be consequences. I don't need anyone in my life who is trying to find ways to lecture me all the time. Just give me the money and then do me a favor and leave me alone. What about Ava? Ava? What does she have to do with this? Ah, uh, you know what? Never mind. I'm at the same bank as before, so send the money there as usual. Chop chop! But... Your paint job is gonna be totally ruined if you don't. It's so perfect and new, I almost feel bad. Oh, and if you give me my $500, I'll even throw in that souvenir from Hawaii. I hope you're looking forward to it. Okay, fine. I'll send you the money. Yay! Sorry, I had so much fun that I ended up staying an extra day. <laughs> what time does your flight get in? Do you need a ride from the airport? Whoa, what's this? You're actually being nice for a change? I'm shocked. That'd be great. I think we land at about 2.30 p.m. Got it. Are you gonna come get me in your new Audi? Oh, and you'll give my boyfriend a ride too, won't you? Sure. How about you ride together? In a police car, that is. Huh? It took almost three whole days to undo your brainwashing on Ava. Brainwashing? What are you talking about? We first started to suspect that something wasn't right when we had her take a bath. She asked us why the water was warm. Don't you think that's a little strange? Kids say weird stuff all the time. You shouldn't take everything they say seriously. At first, she was actually afraid of the bath. She didn't want to get in because she thought we were going to cook her or something. She said the bath water should be cold. Ava likes cold water, that's all. She's a weird kid. We asked her if she at least takes hot showers, but she wouldn't answer. She said that mommy and that man told her not to say anything to us. Otherwise, a monster would come and get her. She loves fairy tales, so I make up stories for her. Her imagination must have gotten the best of her. What a silly girl. But more than Ava's reaction to the bath, mom was worried about how thin she was. I think she's just slender like me. That's all. We asked her what she usually eats and how many meals she has each day. But all she would say is vague things like, I eat lots of yummy food. If that were true, though, then why is she this thin? She's all bones. She doesn't have much of an appetite. I can't force her to eat. By the way, did you know that we recently got a dog? What? A dog? No, but what does that have to do with anything? When Ava saw our dog's crate, she started having a panic attack. Huh? She was crying and saying that the bars were scary. That's weird. Kids do the darndest things, don't they? In the end, we gave her a warm bath, made her mom's homemade macaroni and cheese, and then put her to bed. Slowly, she began to feel more comfortable with us. And... What about it? She told us, I want to live here. I don't want to be with mom and that man anymore. That's just because you're pampering her. I'll have you know that I keep a strict house. Don't go assuming things just because she's trying to get on your good side. She told us everything. About how you put her in a cage, made her take cold showers, only gave her a single sandwich to eat a day. You never let her have snacks. And instead of sending her to school, you just leave her at home alone all day. 
How could you do things like that to this poor sweet child? You're a horrible person. I told you to stop assuming things. You can't just believe everything a child tells you. Mom and I were really worried, so we took her to our doctor and managed to get connected with a pediatrician who could see her right away. During the checkup, they found proof of the treatment that Ava had described to us. Hang on! You can't just take someone's kid to the doctor without letting their parent know. Why didn't you ask for my permission? Oh, so now you need to be involved? Even though you're the one who just dropped her off at our house without warning. Quit trying to look responsible only when it's convenient for you. You have no right to call yourself Ava's parent. You hardly have any right to call yourself human, you monster. Why are you getting all upset about this? This has nothing to do with you or mom. How I raise Ava is my choice, not yours. Stop putting your nose in my business. I don't think that the police are going to agree with you about that. Why would the police be involved? This is a private matter in my household. Do you still not understand? It's because this is a case of child abuse. Of course the police will be involved. It's not me. What? My boyfriend did everything. Not me. So it's his fault, not yours. I couldn't stop him. If I didn't do exactly as he said, he'd beat me. So I was forced to treat Ava that way. I didn't have a choice. Oh, you poor thing. It must have been so hard for you. Yes, it was awful. Oh, I knew you'd understand. I didn't do those things to Ava because I wanted to. So you think that's an excuse? Huh? I don't have even a single ounce of sympathy for you. Why not? Aren't we sisters? Even if that man really was behind all of it. You still should have protected Ava. That's your job as her mother. How could you keep living with a person who was so cruel to your own child? Ugh. You don't understand at all. She's just getting in the way of my life. You've got it the wrong way around. You're the one getting in the way of Ava's life. What's going to happen to me? I don't know. And to be honest, I don't care. I won't help you this time. But surely mom will help me, right? You think she'll forgive you for this? It's all I can do to keep her from coming after you with a baseball bat. What? I believe she said something to the effect of, I won't be satisfied until I break every bone in her body. She wants to really let you have it before the police come to get you. Can the police really arrest me for this? Ava is healthy. It's not like she's dying or anything. This isn't even the full extent of your crimes. What are you talking about? I haven't done anything else. You really had a number done on my new car for one. Huh? The person you had do it said these were your instructions. I hate my stupid sister's guts, so trash her car. What? That idiot got caught? There's been an uptick in crime recently, so mom invested in a new surveillance system. We've got a camera in front of the garage. Thanks to that, we were able to get a clear picture of the suspect and the police found him almost immediately. Are you for real? In his confession, he said that he had been blackmailed by you and your boyfriend. There's apparently proof in his text message history, too. I told him to delete that! He works at the same company as your boyfriend, right? According to him, your boyfriend threatened to do something to his wife and kids if he didn't cooperate with you. Your boyfriend sure is a despicable person, isn't he? All right, all right. I'll break up with him, okay? Is that what you want? I know some of this is on me, but it's really all his fault. Do what you want. It doesn't have anything to do with me anymore. Wait! How about this? Ava and I could move in with you and mom. We can all live together. I'm sure it will be so much fun to have a full house again. We'll be taking care of Ava from now on. Not you. Just Ava? That's not fair. Why don't I get included? Oh, also, we went ahead and contacted the government office too. Why? We're going to arrange to have legal custody over Ava. By the way. This will entitle us to child support from you and potentially your boyfriend as well if you were living together long enough. No way! I assume you two were living together, right? How long? About a year and a half. Hmm, that might not be long enough to get anything from him. That just means that you'll be paying the full sum, though. That's not fair! You can't just take my money! It's not your money. It's what Ava was always entitled to receive from you, her mother. It doesn't seem like she had been getting anything from you for the first five years of her life. So it's about time. This is just too much. I should have never left Ava with you and mom. Until now, you had only left her for maybe four or five hours at a time. So we didn't realize that there was anything wrong. To be honest, abandoning her on our porch is probably the best thing you've ever done for her. 
You're the worst. By the way, you can keep that $500. It'll be my last gift to you. I expect I'll be getting it back one way or another anyway. Don't say stuff like that. It makes me sad. We're sisters, aren't we? Can't we get along again? Oh, and Natalie? What? As your sister, I'd like to make one request. What is it? I'll do anything for you. As long as it doesn't involve money. Don't show me your ugly mug ever again. Olivia! When Natalie and her boyfriend returned from Hawaii, they were promptly arrested. They only ended up getting one year of jail time and a fine of a few thousand dollars, which seems extremely lenient to me. My mother and I were shocked that their crime didn't deserve more. However, the level of abuse that we were able to prove happened wasn't enough to warrant multiple years in jail. This understandably upset my mother, but there wasn't anything that we could do. Though there isn't any concrete evidence, Mom believes that Natalie's boyfriend was the leader of some kind of criminal organization. I'm not sure if I'm convinced, but with everything he and Natalie did to Ava, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they were involved in something like that. It would also explain some of the things that happened after they finished their time in prison. As soon as they were released, Natalie and her boyfriend were able to disappear completely. We're somehow still getting child support, though. I guess they don't want an obvious run-in with the law. We receive about $1,000 a month. I wonder how they're getting that money. I hope it's not coming at anyone else's expense. Also, before we lost contact with Natalie, two rather tough-looking men showed up at our house. But little did they know that my mom still had her baseball bat ready by the front door. I'm sure you can guess what happened next. I'll admit that she might have had a little help from me as well. <laughs> Ava was legally adopted by my mother. She is happily attending elementary school and has made lots of friends. Her favorite thing is taking steaming hot baths and showers. We might need to buy a bigger water heater at this rate. <laughs> This whole ordeal has been an adventure that mom and I never expected to have. It took a lot out of both of us. But it's impossible to have any regrets when we see Ava's smiling face each day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future.